everybody, I am back with another video. And before I get started with this review here, I want to say thanks for stopping by. And if this is your first time here, if you haven't done so already, make sure you do the right thing and hit the subscribe button below. And if you enjoyed the video then, give your girl a thumbs up. All right, so let's get it. I have this box here. It's completely matted out. All black with the Nike and the swoosh on the top lid in a golden yellow color or a pollen color as the shoes are called and it's really interesting because generally whenever I get this type of box it's a lot less matte than this so it's a little bit more like a semi gloss but this one's a lot more matted out and usually it's all black with the red Nike and the swoosh and if it's a female size or a women's size then it would be all red with the black Nike and the swoosh so it would be inverted so really interesting here, I'm not really sure when or why Nike decides to switch it up on us or Jordan brand, right? But this is what we got. It looks actually pretty cool. I like the contrast a lot. Same imprint on the four sides of the bottom part of the box. And this is a size four. Which is my size. So let's take a look inside. Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the pollen colorway and these are pretty cute in hand. I did not expect to like it this much when I first saw pictures of them just because I like OG colorways when it comes to my Jordan 1s but these definitely grew on me. They remind me of the Iowa Dunks or the Varsity Maze colorway whatever you want to call them. Definitely Wu-Tang vibes right? And so these are black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. A hit of white. They use the same color blocking as the Chicago colorway or even the Shadow 2.0s that I recently reviewed. So I like these a lot. So let's go to some details. pollen and black and the pollen color is like a golden yellow color and so pollen can be found for the overlays so the toe cap, mud guard, eye stays, ankle collar, swoosh as well as back heel and the leather is really soft, it's a smooth leather and then for the underlays is a black tumble leather so for the toe box, quarter panel behind the swoosh and the top of the collar and it kind of feels like the top of the collar leather is a little bit more soft compared to the other two. And I kind of like how they use two different types of texture for their leathers. It's really nice. It gives the shoe some dimension, right? And then tucked inside of the left shoe are the extra set of laces. So these shoes come with three sets, which I think is quite a lot, but it's always nice to have options. And partially pre-laced on are cotton flat yellow laces or pollen colored laces. And the alternate set is in white and the other alternate is in black. And they're also flat cotton laces as well. So you have lots of options here. So if you want to switch it up and swap them out, you can. I'm going to do a lace swap for my on feet look. So make sure you stay tuned for that. For the tongue of the shoes, this is your standard Jordan 1 tongue. So it's made out of nylon and it's pretty well cushioned. This pair has a black nylon tongue. And then at the top of the tongue, there is a pollen colored tongue tag. And the Nike Air Text is embroidered on in white with a black swoosh. So let's go into the right shoe. Here we have the right shoe and on the lateral side of the ankle collar on both shoes there is the wings logo that's imprinted on in black. For the inside of the shoe, the sock liner is in black. Same thing goes for the insole. And at the heel, the Nike Air with the swoosh is imprinted on in pollen. For the rubber midsole on the shoes, it's in a really bright white color and there's a polyurethane wedge. And I like how it's in white because it breaks away from the black and yellow colors that's going on. So it looks really good. For the outsole of these shoes, this is your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole silhouette, aka the best outsole silhouette in the game. It's in that pollen color. It has a Nike with the swoosh midfoot that's embossed. earlier 
hair. This colorway definitely grew on me now that I have them in hand. I hit on these on the sneakers app, which is always nice. They do drawings now, and I'm not really good at that, but that's what we have to adapt to, right? And so I think they're sitting in stores right now, so make sure you cop them now if you really want them. And if you ever get your hands on these or your feet in them, make sure you go to the size and hang tight because I'm going to show you all what they look like on feet with the lace swap.